Stacking in Lightroom is another good way to organize and group your files. Think of it like a deck of cards. You can either spread out that deck of cards to view all of the cards, or in this case, photographs, or you can group them up and have them in a nice, neat pile, and that's what a stack is going to do. What you stack is up to you. Maybe you're doing a portrait session with a lot of different people. You can create stacks based on each individual person. Or, in this case, one of the ways that I like to use it is to stack my HDR brackets. That kind of gets them out of the way and creates a little bit of a nicer way to view some of the folders in my catalog. To create a stack, just highlight the photos that you want to stack and go to Photo, Stacking, Group into Stack. You'll know it's a stack because there's an icon in the top left of that thumbnail. And if you click on that, then it will reveal all of those photos. You can also use that little tab just to the right of the stack, and that will toggle that stack open or close. You can also right click to access those stacking options. In this case, I'm going to unstack these files because I'm going to show you another way that you can stack your images. And this works really well for things like HDRs or any photographs where they were created within a constrained period of time. I'm going to go up to Photo, Stacking, and select Auto Stack by Capture Time. The time that you select is going to determine which photos are grouped together. In this case, the default is set to 10 seconds, and that means that any photos that were taken within a 10 second time period are going to be grouped together. When I'm doing HDR brackets, then I usually am going to be photographing several images consecutively one after the other. 10 seconds might be a little too low, depending on the photos I'm taking, so I might increase this up to, let's try 20 seconds. And I am given a, a glimpse in the background of what is going to be stacked. 20 seconds seems to be a good number. It looks like it's grouping all of the photos properly. So I'll go ahead and click on Stack. It stacked all of the photos, but it left them all expanded. And I can kind of scroll through and, and show you all of the stacks that it's created. If I want to collapse all of these stacks, I can just right click, select Stacking, and choose Collapse All Stacks. Now you can see in this representation that I only have a handful of compositions that I've created. They're just all grouped into individual stacks. In some cases, the photo that's representing the stack is not necessarily going to give you a good idea of what that image looks like. In these cases, you'll want to expand the stack and then click and drag the photo that you like best over to the very top image. Then when you collapse that stack, it will show that photo as representing that stack of images.